the equation of the tangent line. To get that, we first need to find the derivative. Plug in 1. That will give me the slope. And then you have xy. Together with xy and the slope, we can get the equation of the tangent line. Okay. Now, the derivative of this, the derivative of ln is u prime over u. So the derivative of x to the 3 over 2 is 3 over 2x, and subtract 1 from that, you get 1 half. That's the derivative of the inside over the inside. So the derivative is simply derive the inside, put it over the inside. Then simplify. So we now have y prime equals, and it looks like when you divide these, you're going to subtract the powers. So 1 half minus 3 over 2 is negative 1. So it looks like 3 over 2x. The x would drop to the bottom because 1 half minus 3 over 2. OK. Next, that's my derivative. I now want to find the slope because I have x, y, I need the slope to make the equation. So my slope is going to be 3 over 2 times 1. So it looks like my slope is 3 over 2. And I just use my simple equation. We'll do the, uh, this one. So y minus y, which is 0, equals m times x minus 1. And you can leave it like that, or you, which this one's really easy, y equals 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2. Either of these are answers. They're both tangent lines at 1, 0. Number 42. 48. Sorry, that was 42. 48. I want to just derive this. That's all they're asking. So to derive this, you are going to see a product rule. So y prime. The product rule states derive the first, leave the second. So derive x, you get 1. Leave the ln x. Plus, leave the x. What's the derivative of ln x? It's u prime over u, so x derived is 1 over u, which is x. There's my answer, but it could be simplified. So if we're going to simplify that, we now have um, y prime is equal to ln x, because x over x cancels plus 1. Is that correct? Now, make sure you understand that that plus 1 is not inside the ln. OK? That's ln x plus 1. That's it. It's that simple. And number 52 here. In order to derive this, what you first want to do, because this is right here, you don't want to derive. Usually it would be this prime, derive this quotient rule, over this. But I think it would be easier to rewrite it as follows. Using your properties of logs, you can do this. You can separate it or expand it. And this will make it a, quite a bit easier of a problem. Now we just derive each one individually. So f prime x is going to be, well, the derivative of 2x is 2 over 2x. There's the first one, that simple. u prime, 2x divided by 2, minus the derivative of x plus 3 is 1 over x plus 3. There's your answer. And if need be, depending on the problem, that would be a lot of times actually an OK answer. But if it's a multiple choice test and you're looking for more or you're having to solve something, the next step would be to multiply top and bottom so you end up with, um, when you multiply the x plus 3 times this one, you're going to get 2x plus 6. 
That's the first piece. And this one you're going to multiply by 2x over 2x, x plus 3. What I did again is I multiplied this one by x plus 3, this one by 2x. And it looks like we end up with 6 over 2x, x plus 3, which is 3 over x x plus 3. That would be a convergence diversion.